Hello and welcome to Buildings of Tomorrow. My name is John Lester and in this episode we'll be talking about the role of the BIM process throughout the entire life cycle of the building. I'm joined in the studio today by Wolfgang Huss, a principal expert on the BIM topic. Wolfgang, thank you for joining us. Hello. Please give us an insight into the role of the BIM process throughout the entire building life cycle. Yeah, the BIM uh, or BIM is really for the complete life cycle from the early beginning, from the idea till the rebuild of a building, the recycling of a building. Mm -hmm. And um, the founder of Building Smart International, uh, his name is uh, Patrick McLeamy, mm -hmm. he came up with uh, three expressions and they are pointing out what's really meant. It's BIM, BAM, BOOM. BIM, BAM, BOOM. Yeah. Okay. Sounds a little bit funny, yeah, but it's really... Uh, what happens. So it's building information modeling, that's the plan and design phase in the, the, yeah. in, the, uh, in the beginning. Then it's building assembling modeling, that's a production of the building. The BAM. And boom is building operation and optimization modeling. And so we have the complete life cycle. Sounds funny, but it's really re reflecting what uh, BIM stands for. What happens throughout the actual exactly. process. So give us an insight into each of these BIM, BAM and BOOM. Yeah, uh, the uh, construction or the design, let's start with the design. It's very important to having a good collaboration between the different designers. Uh, we have to have an harmonized uh, solution there and today we, we, have, we have the problem that uh, we have this sequence in design according to the progress of the uh, construction. We are doing the design and so there is more or less no coordination between the different disciplines possible. And that's one of the keys to change this method, yeah, so that we are working in this digital twin, in this virtual model, in a harmonized way, coordinated on the solution. And so that's covering the design phase. So and it's a new method how to do. And this design. is the BIM part. That's a BIM part, okay. yeah. And later on, when we are stepping over and everything is tested, simulated, and should run, then we can start with the physical construction. That's BAM. Mm -hmm. And why BAM? Why assembling? Because it's not longer that we are building a building, we are assembling a building. Because we have now the opportunity, based on the data in the beginning and the design phase, mm -hmm. to produce in, in factories modules which can be assembled on site. So that's BAM building, assembling, modeling. Because we talk more about assembly assembling rather than construction. Than construction, exactly. Yeah. So, and then the... The exciting part, the, yeah, boom. The, boom, it sounds best. Yeah. And that's really the phase when the building uh, comes into the operational uh, phase. And on one hand, it's operation, and there's a still ongoing optimization of the operational process. Therefore, the second O uh, in the name, it's uh, this boom, because it's ongoing optimization and improvements uh, we can do based on these uh, data. Having the right transparency on data, yeah, you can really do a lot for better operation, for saving energy, uh, producing security. So at the end, transparency uh, helps in helps all in cases. Helps in every part here. of the process. Yes, right. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you all for joining us in Buildings of Tomorrow. Please share, like, and comment on this episode, and let us know what you think about BIM, BAM, and BOOM. And also subscribe to us here on this channel. We'll see you again soon.